Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I've got a lot of questions lately about my Real Techniques brush collection and whether I actually use them, whether I actually like them, um, what my opinions are about them, if they're still in my rotation. <laughs> Literally, I have five emails in my inbox with those kinds of questions and that general, general, you know, questions about Real Techniques brushes. So I thought I would update you guys, share with you what I am using and what I'm not using. I have pretty much every brush um, that Real Techniques makes, with the exception of several new ones, the latest ones that have come out. Um, I don't have those. But for the most part, I absolutely adore this brush range. I love, love, love this brush range. Now, it does take a little bit of getting used to. They are a little different. I don't have another brush to compare to. I didn't bring one. They are a little bit different um, in terms of how they're formed and how they're kind of how you hold them in your hand when you use them. Um, Aside from that, the actual brush quality is great. They have great, you know, just it distributes everything nicely. It packs on things nicely. The bristles hold up. They don't shed. I haven't had any issues with my Real Technique Techniques brushes to this point. I've had them um, probably, what, like a year? I don't remember when I first got them. Maybe, maybe two years now. Um, maybe just a year, maybe a year and a half. I don't remember. Anyway, they've, I've had them for a while, so I use them every single day. The ones that I don't use are the foundation brushes, only because I don't apply my foundation um, that way, like a painter would paint, you know, the painty looking ones. I don't use those, but I do use all the other ones. And I'll show you just my, si my top six is what I'm going for, because I could show you every single one and tell you why I love it and what you know I use it for exactly. But these are the six that I use every single day. There I have a whole another set of brushes that I use just kind of for detailed things. This is what I would just use every day. Now, these are not the only brushes that I use every day. I also use two Macs, a Smashbox, and a Bare Minerals brush and those are my everyday like with these brushes are my everyday brushes but I can share those with you in another video this is just about real techniques okay first up I will tell you I put my foundation on every single day with this brush and it is by far my absolute favorite foundation brush um, ever and it's the buffing brush from the real techniques collection it looks like this this you know kind of colored handle and then this rubberized and this is what I mean by it takes a little getting used to. These are a little thicker, barreled, and you know, handled than most brushes are, but I like it. I think it gives you a little bit more control. The other thing too is you can stand it up. These are flat, so you can stand them up on any kind of surface, um, and they store nicely like that, or you can keep them in a jar or something. Okay, and this is the buffing brush. Like I said, it's not specifically meant for foundation. It's meant for smoothing and buffing and things like that. But if you watch Samantha Chapman on her Pixie Woo channel and her sister, if you watch them, you will notice they use this brush a lot for foundation application on themselves. So you'll see them using that. And that is kind of where I got the idea to use this one instead of the actual foundation brushes. The foundation brushes are good for getting the product on your face, but I really don't feel like it blends or smooths very nicely into your skin. So this really, you know, you work in circles, really gets in there. And I simply wash this, the bristles, um, weekly with some uh, Bath & Body Works hand soap, the antibacterial hand soap. That's all I use. And it leaves it conditioned and, you know, nice and everything. The only drawback to washing like that that I have noticed is you'll notice the handle right here where this is kind of dried out and it's not flaking off yet but I'm pretty sure it's going to start. That is the only thing that I would say is the downside to this. The only defect that I have seen so far. Um, but that is to, you know, it's it's my own. I, I created it. I It's from me washing, you know, and, and wear. It's not something that the brush was defective like that. It's because I store it like this when I dry it so it all, you know, runs down this is probably just not meant to get wet, but these are cheap enough that you can replace this fairly, you know, it's it's easy to, it's not a $60 brush that you're gonna like really hurt to replace. So you could actually have like five of these um, and replace them when you need them. So that's that one. The next one that I put my blush on with, and I love this for blush, I used it today for my blush application. Now, if you want a very detailed blush application, a very, um, heavy blush application. This is not the right brush to use. This is a good everyday general 
blush brush because it is so big it really you know just kind of distributes everywhere and it's got like a rounded you can see the tip right here kind of a rounded dome shape that kind of just blends the blush in a little bit uh, more than if you were to use a very like if your blush brush was very densely packed and it would really you know you literally put blush on and it would stay there it wouldn't distribute it this one does that but like I said it's only good if you want a light blush application if you want a heavy blush application or you're going for that heavy blushed look you will need a different brush to achieve that because this no matter how many times you build it up it really never builds up any more than your initial application so you know you can get it brighter but it doesn't look so great so I would use a more detailed one and I have other ones for that but this is the blush brush and it's like that and the the whole idea is all the face all over face is this kind of goldish apricot color the blush powder specific brushes are pink colored um, and you can see this one hasn't done it at the bottom because I don't wash it as much and I don't store it to dry the way that I store that one but bristles again very soft um, and really get pigment on there the next one that I use to set my face with my foundation with is this one and it's the multitask brush once again pink because it's a powder brush so for all over face use um, and it's kind of dome shaped and this is next to the blush brush and then next to the buffing you can see the difference this one's flat top this one's rounded um, so yeah this is what I use to set my foundation with with either the Cody Airsman powder my Ben Nye cameo powder which I also use under my under eyes but I use it sometimes all over my face and any other powder that I need to put all over I will use this one for the next three are more detail kind of specific the first one uh, would be what I use for my bronzing contour is the contour brush this you know space face specific and the gold that like yeah did not I don't know that didn't come out right out of my mouth anyway um, the contour brush a space space that's what the a face specific brush wow okay so it's kind of dome shaped like this it is kind of a mini you can see it like a mini shaped um, brush but this one is very densely packed you can get it in there I use it to literally contour my cheeks my forehead and then down the sides of my nose as well as right in here or under my chin and everything just to contour with contour powder or bronzer or anything like that so I love that and you can also once you contour the line here you can use it to blend into the blush or down onto your cheeks sometimes if I get it too low I will take my buffing brush and whatever foundation is left and literally just go along the chin lines or the what is this jaw line and um, it blends that kind of bronzer in um, to my skin next two would be this one it is the highlighting or no this is the setting brush meant for under your eye like setting concealer I use it specifically for highlighting um, only for highlighting really so I get my highlighter which is usually the MAC Light Scapade or the Stula Kitten and I will put it with the brush around my eye on my cheekbone high cheekbone and then you know down the center of my nose as well as right here and that's just the highlighter and I love that for that it's perfect it you know doesn't distribute it everywhere it gets it just into the where I need it it works nicely for that and lastly the domed shadow brush which is the only eye one that I will feature in here the other ones I love for specific things but this is the everyday one that I love um, but purple is what marks their eyeshadow brushes really pretty huh um, and they stand up on their own too this one is dome shaped like I said it's very densely packed this one is actually perfect for concealing um, and any kind of cream anything that you want to put on your eyes so for concealing I would suggest getting you know if you're going to use it for multiple things get one specifically for concealer it really does kind of blend that concealer in down here very nicely then you can have like another one for just cream products that you put on here I like to use it with my bare study paint pot or my constructivist paint pot to apply the cream onto the shadow onto the shadow onto the lid and then blend out before I put shadow on and it really distributes it nicely it doesn't leave any funny lines or anything that when I apply like bare study paint pot when I apply it with my finger 
I get it in here and I always have this line right here that just never blends into my skin. And then, you know, later on in the day when I'm looking in the mirror, I'm like, oh wow, there's that line I forgot to blend. When I use this, I never have that issue. So I just prefer this so much more. Um, and then also, once you've applied your cream products, you could have like a separate one, like literally three, um, to apply shadow. It's a great kind of like contour brush right here. You can get into that little contour area to really kind of sculpt out your um, eyelids, which is great if you have eyelids like mine that don't have, um, what's it called? Wow, I cannot talk today. Ugh. It's great. Okay. It's great if you have hooded lids like mine. It really lets you get into that little area. So that is that. Those are my Real Techniques brushes that I would say are my must-haves. And I do use every single day, each one of these every single day. And I absolutely love. As for the other ones, I can do a separate video and tell you what I use the other ones for specifically. Um, but I do like, I love their brushes. I, I like them. I think they're priced great. They're not super expensive you know they're you can buy them and then easily replace them if you need to for whatever reason you know they get lost or stolen or anything like that um so i like them a lot a lot a lot a lot and if you watch pixie woo this the samantha chapman and her sister they use these brushes i mean they actually use them so they develop them and they use them and you know they're real makeup artists so they're really great um anyhow so that's that thanks so much for watching Bye bye